Let's talk about democratic socialism, not communism, Mr. Bloomberg. That's a cheap shot. Let's talk about democratic. Let's talk about what goes on in countries like Denmark, where Pete correctly pointed out they have a much higher quality of life in many respects than we do. What are we talking about? We are living in many ways in a socialist society right now. Problem is, as Dr. Martin Luther King reminded us, we have socialism for the very rich, rugged individualism for the poor. Wait a second. When Donald, let me finish. When Donald Trump gets $800 million in tax breaks and subsidies to build, link, to build luxury condominiums, that's socialism for the rich. Wait, when wait Walmart, we have to subsidize Walmart's workers who are on Medicaid and food stamps because the wealthiest family in America pays starvation wages. That's socialism for the rich. This, this is I believe in democratic socialism okay, for no. working people, not billionaires. Health care for all, Wait. educational opportunity all right, Senator, for all. Senator, thank you. Mayor Bloomberg, would you like to, the, the, the for question all, was about socialism. socialism. What a wonderful country we have. The best known socialist in the country happens to be a millionaire with three houses. What I miss here? Well, you'll miss that I work in Washington, House 1. That's the first problem. Live in Burlington, House 2. That's good. And like thousands of other Vermonters, I do have a summer camp. But, Forgive me for that. But, Where is your home? But, which, tax, which tax haven New do you York, have your home? New York City, thank you very much. Yeah, right, and I pay yeah, all my home. taxes. Many, and I'm happy to do it because I get something for it. And let me say, I thought the senator next to me was half right. Oh, I agree good. we should raise taxes on the... No. I disagree with the senator on the wealth tax, but I do agree with her that the rich aren't paying their fair share. We should raise taxes on the rich. I did that as mayor in New York City. I raised taxes. And if you take a look at my plans, the first thing I would do is try to convince Congress, because they've got to do it, we can't just order it, to roll back the tax cuts that the, Ob that the um, uh, uh, Trump administration put in with the, uh, through Congress. So All right, uh, Vice, President, Vice President Biden, weigh in on this question of, of, of Americans' feeling about socialist candidates. Well, look, let me weigh in on, you know, for 36 years and as Vice President, I was listed as the poorest man in Congress. I made money when I wrote a book about my son, and it surprised me how much it sold. First time I ever made any money. And here's the deal. The fact is that we ought to start rewarding work, not just wealth. The idea that we have a tax rate for corporate America at 21 percent is ridiculous. It should be at 28 percent. That would raise almost $800 billion a year. The idea that we have companies not paying anything at all, they should have a minimum tax of 15 percent. That would raise another $740 billion a year. The idea that you're able to have a capital gains tax that you pay at the rate of 20 percent if you are in the if you're if you are Mike Bloomberg or whomever it has a whole lot of money and someone else is paying at a war your your staffer is paying at, at, at 25 percent is wrong that would raise another 800 billion dollars we should be rewarding work not just wealth and the american people the middle class is getting killed and the poor have no way up uh